now that we have uh, the solution made and um, the microbubble is attached to the patient, I'm just going to show you how we set the initial machine settings to allow us to get an optimum left ventricular opacification study. I'd like to point out that this is not a real study. We're just doing this for demonstration purposes today. For imaging, you can see that we've got a um, apical four chamber view uh, on the screen, and we usually start with high power tissue harmonic imaging. You can see here the MI or mechanical index is 1.4. We use um, tissue harmonic imaging at uh, a high MI to select the best windows that we're going to be using for the subsequent study. However, in order to get an optimum LVO study, we need to decrease the mechanical index so that we do not destroy the microbubbles in the cavity. Now, many uh, state-of-the-art uh, current systems already have a simple button that you can just activate to pull up the left ventricular opacification setting. Uh, on the Philips IE33, for example, Sam, perhaps you can just show us, on the left touch screen, we go into contrast LVO, and then on the right touch screen, LVO. And if you take a look at the image, you'll see that it is much darker, but there is still some specular epicardial border reflection, and that's optimum. You don't want the image to be so black that no image is seen at all. And I also like to point out that the mechanical index has now dropped from 1.4 to 0.25, a much lower MI so that we don't destroy bubbles in the cavity. 